sure it's on. You, you copy and pasted the key into settings. Which and way am I going? Make sure you click start stream. Is that the right way? It doesn't feel right. Stop streaming. Start streaming. Oh, it says live now. An error occurred. I see you. What? Excellent <laughs> connection. Look at it. I don't see me. How do you see me? Play I don't know. It might have been a minute ago. I mean, you could just ignore it. That feels wrong. It says live. <laughs> it could just be that the preview video isn't isn't working. Please try again later. Wow. Oh, 41 people are watching. That's fantastic. What they're watching is um, my error that says an error occurred. Does it show that? <laughs> A lot of people see me. All right, well, see you, hear you. that's great. We're going to go with that, even Why though... <laughs> That's so funny. All right, well, I have an error message, and we're just gonna we're gonna minimize that screen. Is how we're gonna handle it. <laughs> so, Kyla, if you scoot, yeah, which way? Right, a little bit. My right? Mm -hmm. No, I'm in the hole. No, you're right. You're yeah, yeah. It's my other right. Towards us. That's, oh, that's your left. That is my left. <laughs> that is my left. You know, once my sister said turn right, so I went left, but she meant left. So oh, it worked out. It all worked out. That's when <laughs> two rights make a left. That's right. Doesn't she look lovely? Aw, that's great. You need to silence that because that's weird. Okay. I hear myself. Okay. It will distract me. Okay. And I don't. I hear you. I don't. You can hear me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can oh, hear me. You're so nicely centered. Now. Am I good? Because I went left. But I might have to come and move your overhead camera because we scooted you. Oh. And I, maybe, no one can work maybe, like that. Maybe T-Bot can do that. I got it. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to apologize to everyone for that. Oh, my gosh. Everyone's telling you how gorgeous you are. Oh, Nobody well, thanks. does that when I start. Yes, they do. Your hair looks good. <laughs> I have gum that I'm going to have to spit out because that's going to be obnoxious. Um, Talbot, I might need. I think that's going to be all right. Oh, look at you. Thanks. Spit that out live. <laughs> We, um, Talbot and I spent a couple of hours yesterday setting up a new mic. Too? Can they hear me okay? I can move to the other end of the table. Um, anyway, new camera, new mic, so hopefully the sound is good. There's a whole setup here. I'm going to come sit on the other end of the table so I'm near the mic. It feels very weird. Welcome, everybody. Oh, someone told me to spit out my gum. I did that. I did do that. Talbot helped me out. I think they said that okay. after, after you said it. All right. That way you're on the same side of the mic. Okay. But I have to go on. We're making nests today. So I'm going to start by saying Sarah has set a bar that's like here, and I'm just going to request that you all lower your bar. I got a red red on my microphone oh that means we're too loud. that means you were too loud quiet can, down over there i can lower it down yes sir quiet down over there i think it was just the banging on the table welcome everybody okay we're gonna make some nests i have zero notes i am ill prepared except i've made about 50 of these in the last couple months so we're gonna go with muscle memory um, how do you show these? Here, this is one I just tried to make to prepare. It's weird to get the angle right. Mm -hmm. It is weird. And you can also make that square bigger if you're wanting to use oh. the overhead camera. Okay. By just dragging the corner. 
So we'll make eggs. And I picked these up on my walks in Fairhill. And the little twig. I kind of have a few elements that I put in every one of my nests. And we have this one. Different colors. I love giving it some height. What does that little nut looking thing come from? Um, a, the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a, okay. someone knows. Everyone can see you. Somebody knows what kind of nut, a chestnut maybe? It's too cordy the other way. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Sarah also brought in, Des Lee, Lee, made, Lee made this sweet thing. Yeah. But Izzy made this one. You had it on your nest at home, on your yeah. twig at home. <laughs> What's funny? Yes. What's funny? Here we go. Look I at all these colors. Myself, I just saw oh. myself walk through the. Look at all the colors, and I love that. I love it. It's just like layered with goodness. And this is one. I made this one? Yes. I only gave you two eggs. Man. I know. Pfft. You shouldn't have accepted that. Similar, you have your little hummingbird. I knew you needed your hummingbird in there. Yes. And Paige Snow made this one, which is so sweet. She's um, P.S. Felty. Look at this. The bird. I'm not going to show you how to make the bird. So sweet. I don't, yeah. And I she has, this is interesting. yeah, she has all kinds of twigs. I don't know how she bent those around. Mm -mm. So I think what we will do is make two bases, right? Yeah, I would start with to two start. bases and then. So materials, you're going to want some core wool. This is our chunky dyed brown core, which is on its way out. Do we still have some available? Yeah, we still have that or not. Not sure. If you don't have this, you can use um, regular brown core. The Serafina core is amazing and available now in brown. I also like to use a top coat. I think this is walnut. Um, this is the new brown black. Oh, carob. No, the no. brown back black oh. Shetland, I think. Uh, yes. Um, one of our new natural fibers, and it's really pretty. It's a good bit darker. I kind of like the lighter for what I've been doing, but that's super pretty. And this maybe brown smooth top. Any brown will do. You're going to want some locks. These are from the Ocean Fiber Art Bundle, I believe. I also have nest locks. And Sarah's bronze. No. Bronze? Which bundle was this? That is a bronze fiber art bundle. A light yeah. one. How do you feel about me using these locks? Oh, use what <gasps> you want. They're so pretty. Yeah. So really any locks, the nest locks are fun. You get oh, all kinds. To, what? Um, no, to... <laughs> we didn't, we didn't. So you go me to, to, I was all flustered. Share, I Do you have the forgot. copy up or do you have the link up? Cause you can share it. Oh, share this link. Okay. I'm going to make you do it. Okay. Um, you also, if you have them, you want some feathers. Lee sent me some feathers. I have some really cool ones. Ooh, I know. Awesome. I also had some local friends with chickens. They're on feather watch for me. So the more kinds you get, the better. I was doing nests with one because I was saving them. And then I'm flush with feathers. So now I add like two or three because I have a lot of feathers. There's no rules. No rules on how many you can use. I love the stripes. Um, and twigs. Twigs are a lot of fun. So if you are anywhere near like woods, there's grapevine. I have a whole mess of them and they're fun to pick through. I just cut them, save them in a box. You get all kinds of fun. Where am I? You get all kinds of fun detail with that. So Starting with your core, should I switch so that it's over or should we 
You think that's fine? Um, like should the big one be I, over? Yeah, I think it's. I think it's lovely. Nice to see okay, you. Great. great. <laughs> I mean, we've done it's felt alongs without even even over. Over. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna take your core. I'm not super scientific. Do we have a? I'm gonna use. Yeah, I pretty much have everything. I'm going to use your ruler. I just do this, like stick my hand on it, and pull. The chunky core is wider, pretty much like the width of two, I would say, the regular Serafina core. Um, like if I'm doing two here, you're gonna wanna do three widths across. So spread it out a little bit, overlap a tiny bit there. We are five and a half, by seven ish five by seven ish this could be bigger it could be smaller there's not really a wrong on the nest mm -hmm. size um, and so do that and then you're gonna want to take some of your top coat I just pull and put a thin oh, layer I do I do smart. it makes it a little a little more integrated yeah and... I think it also helps that overlap line mm -hmm. especially if you're using um, the thinner Several roving pieces. that it just kind of starts it off that way not very thick mm -hmm. so I have all that you can if you want punch it a little bit just to get that the overlap overlapping pieces together but you have your thing here am I allowed to link something in a YouTube comment I think it lets you. I was inspired and doing all kinds of research and I found a few Amazon books that I put in my cart. Oh, cool. On like the figure things? On um, Ness. Oh, on Ness, okay. I saw your other ones and I was thinking that. So yeah. you have this, flip it over. So now you're working on the not so, not so pretty side. You're gonna take your, does anyone have any questions? I'm just I'm just launching. Yeah, everybody's in here. just saying hello okay. and how gorgeous you are. <laughs> okay. There, oh, so here's a here's a joke. Ooh, a joke. There's nest jokes. Oh. Oh, a joke. Prepare yourself. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where do birds meet for coffee? See. At the. See how your brain doesn't work. I don't know <laughs> at the. The nest cafe. Nest cafe. The nest cafe. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I would break this into thirds in your mind here. So about a third of the way up, you're gonna just make a line across. I should have had a three. This has two needles in it. You could use three to really get there. Fold it up, give yourself an edge. Felt it a little bit. Use the punch tool a little bit. And I just peel it up. And then, hmm, how far are we? About an inch. Do you like to have two 38s in your needle? I do. I mean, for this part, you could have even three 38s, but otherwise, two 38s is fine you want it stuck but you don't want it so stuck that you're like flattening it and destroying it right so fold up your inch i guess this is a double decker taco is that what i'm doing here to get a nice edge did I think you that's what i did i folded it up and then like gave myself an inch so you have this bit here take if you don't have this I guess you could use the edge of your stab it, but really helpful to have a mini. This is the mini of the mini. So there's two sizes. Um, lay it on here and fold it around. And then stab this in. I went a little light on this one. This one's gonna be small. Tack it in, and then you have all this fiber. Pretty much just tuck it. I really need to say this is Lee's project. 
This is not Kyla's project. Lee yes, taught us. We have a we have a nest and burrow tutorial um, on the website, and Lee is the one that inspired this and showed us how to do it. And so fold it all over, kind of tuck everything in, and I try to sort of spread out these edges, and you don't have obvious seams. Use. The, uh, stab it in there. As your felting surface, this would be a lot trickier. That was Oliver. This would be a lot trickier without this surface in here. Yeah, it does help a lot. You can use the punch tool. Now I'm seeing, I don't know what all you can see, but I have some core showing through, so I am going to use a little bit of top coat. Gonna pull what, it. What do birds call other birds that live nearby? Neighbors. Nest door neighbors. Nest door neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. There's a bird in my neighborhood that keeps making nests in different trees. Glad to see he's branching out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of work. These so birds. An eagle's nest. So nest, this is interesting and I didn't know this. Nests are defined by the cavity where the eggs and the babies can develop. Okay. Like that's, so, in other words, they're not, like, a permanent residence. Like, the birds don't go sleep in there and, like, live in there when their babies oh. are gone. <laughs> right. They abandon their nests. Yeah. Okay. Which I didn't, I didn't well, know. where do they live? There's a few exceptions. Um, okay, I wasn't sure what you were saying. Where does a nest live? Um... Talbot's here. He's going to try and fix an audio. Oh, something. no. We have an audio problem? Well, it's not. It could be better. It could be better. Could be better. I think it's on, it's on Kyla's laptop? Okay. All right. Let's take one minute to, to do this. One minute? The desktop audio is down. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to keep, keep on keep rolling talking, here. Then. I'm going to keep on rolling. So... You don't need to super over felt, but you do want to felt enough that you're kind of filling in any really empty spots. All right. And then you are just going to peel it off. And it's going to be pretty flimsy. There's a spot right here. I don't know what you can really see, but there's a spot there where we connected it. I think it needs a little more top coat to look pretty. I don't really know why I do this because I cover the entire thing in locks, but I think you want that stable structure. Yeah, it makes a good base. Underneath. So I'm gonna lay this on, and just kind of cover that seam. So eagles use the same nest year after year. And in the end, they can be one to two tons. Isn't that crazy? The nests? The nests. Can weigh one to two tons? Yes. So do they keep adding to it? Yes. They just keep building and adding. Wow. All right. So kind of not formed, a little flimsy. I feel like it's kind of sucked up a little bit. Watch out. It's all like... There's not a whole lot of, there's not a whole lot of cord. Do you need this cord? Hold on. There you go. There we go. Okay. Um, if you were to just put locks on here and start covering it up, they do kind of curl up as you work. So I take some time now and I'll work the edges and you can kind of push it open as you work and shape it. Hey, Kyla. Yeah. Will you turn your overhead camera back? What happened? <laughs> I just got... Uh, I then, can't see it either. And then, okay, I'll tell you when. I'm. It's on the delay, so there you go. That, that, looks, set. that looks good. <laughs> Look at the cord. <laughs> Look at the cord. We're a disaster. Yeah. You're doing great. I'm doing in the, great in the face, in the of, the face of all of this. Yeah. What? Yeah, you can set it back over there. All right. <gasps> That's what she said. 
All right. Ignore the cords. Oh, wow. Trisha said bird poops weighs a lot, I guess in response to the, to the oh, weight of the eagle's yeah, nest. Yeah, I bet it does. Oops. Okay. <sighs> that was something. We're back on. We're good. We're centered. Okay. So we are shaping this thing. I spread it out. You're going to feel it's pretty <laughs> weak and wimpy on the inside. So you do want to do some, some felting. And this edge all the way around needs to be firm enough to be able to take locks. Um, if it's barely felted, the locks are not going to have anything to stick into. So we're going to do this again. Once I finish this one, we're going to make another base. I went with the Marsha plan. And when I was really cranking these out in the height of you made base after base. quarantine, I made base after base. I think I had probably eight or 10 at one point waiting for the locks. Cause really the locks I think is the fun part, like the decorating. You just have to get through making these. So they're ready, I'm ready for the decorating. All right, we're getting there. I would say so, these are soft compared to like the hardness of the sleepy mouse. Anything that you'd wrap around a tool is gonna have um, like more structure, more substance, more fiber in there. So these yeah. are pretty, pretty soft. Uh oh. What's the matter? Don't worry. What, that I'm frozen? That you're frozen. <laughs> it's time to come back. Well, I don't even have on YouTube. Big camera frozen. Yeah. So just make the overhead cam pull that bigger. Oh, I just moved it. How do you make it bigger? <laughs> you grab the um, corner, like you gotta click on it so that it's um, highlighted. Gotcha. And then, yeah. Goodbye, Kyla. What's up? Um, the overhead cam froze. I mean the, uh, I froze in a very strange, I'm about Wait, to say something. Wait, but now does that one freeze too? The webcam? F5. F5. It's a good thing I have a tech support team. Oh. I'm just keeping on working. What's your, uh, how do you get the alt option? All right. Oh, just refresh. Refresh. We got a nest. All right. About four inches around is where we are on this. So Not quite two inches deep. The camera went off, as in it needs a power source? No, it's fine. But currently you're only on the overhead. Well, I had her make the overhead bigger because she was Because I up. was frozen like. Well, we can't see. Right, you have to go look at OBS. That's fine. You can do what you need to with it. Can you zero? Except for the fact that I just made that move again. Yeah. Can you just resize it again? What do you mean? Um, just resize it so Talbot can see. Talbot needs to see the... He wants to see the other camera so that we can you see... You mean the frozen me? The frozen Kyla. <laughs> Talbot's thinking. All right, well, while Talbot's fixing all my problems... Yeah. People can still hear? Yeah. All right, great. We're going to go. We're going to make a second nest with the core wool again. They said, keep going. You're doing I'm great. Gonna, I'm doing it. There's one. So you could make these in gray. You could make them white. I probably the white should ones branch are out. Fun. Should branch out. That's all I've been doing is so these. the um the blue gray net catcher 
the blue gra- are we are we in a joke we're in a fact makes um makes their nests out of spider webs and ew. lichen so they're real like i say ooh because spiders yeah. are freak yeah. me out you can look at that um i took like a half just to give this a little more oomph this area of the chunky core is a little wimpy so i wanted to bulk it up a little bit and we just don't want it to yeah we don't want it to move again (laughs) and then you lay out your walnut or whatever you're using your brown is it still good because i can't see anymore you're good that's a little thick it's weird when you can't see it, isn't it? It's a little weird. I mean, it's fine. I'm, it's nice to be able to check what you're doing. I like that there's a little bit of vegetable matter in here. It makes it extra nesty. Mm-hmm. So I am just hitting it a tiny bit with the punch tool. Let's get a size on this. I think it's a little bigger, like six and a half, more like by eight. I made it all just a little bigger. Again, teeny tiny, you could go much bigger and make yourself a burrow. So I want to see how you do this next part because... Because you weren't paying attention? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, so flip it over mm-hmm. and just like a third of the way mm-hmm. up, two thirds of the way down. Just make a line. I think it's a double decker taco, but like with just the inch edge. Talbot did it! What? Talbot, you're a magician. Talbot's my guy. When my printer's acting up, you tell Talbot to come, it just gets scared and starts working. It's true. When my when my Bluetooth won't connect to my speaker, yeah, he all walks he has in, to do is walk in the room. And then it's fixed. Okay, so you made your line. Fold it up. And tack oh. this down. Thank you, Talbot. We'll text you when we have our next problem. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody so. says thank you and good job, Talbot. <laughs> okay, so there's that, like the one, Okay. and then I just, however, you know, deep I want yeah. this to be, so if you made it way bigger, you could do it like this big, and so you'd you have more of a, again. I do this, I felt like it didn't have enough, enough oomph. Yeah. So I make myself a little line. The other thing you can check, whether you're using this or a large one, I should have said that the first time. Is the, how it yeah, the reason around. I made it, you know, this size is because it was fitting this nest. So you make your little line, fold it up. And doesn't like super want to stick, but it will. I hit it again with the punch tool. If you have a single needle, this is going to take you forever. Yeah, you're going to want to like, yeah, you're going to want to like get yourself a punch tool. Um, tuck this on. You want a proverb? Wrap it. There's nest proverbs. Oh yeah. I like how you're all prepared with that stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a quote. Fold it around. Cynthia Lewis. Tack it down. Who I should have Googled, but I didn't. Okay. You have a lot more respect for a bird after you try to make a nest. Yes. (laughs) An actual nest. This is kind of like the easy way to do the nest. So there's some um, uh, suggestions if you don't have the mini stab is is a sock with rice. Oh, okay. Works well, which okay. is the same. It is. It's. It's. Yeah. It's your own yeah. mini step. You just need something in there. Mm-hmm. It is. It is key. You can see mine's all repaired. I've used it a lot. Eventually, they break down from the needles hitting them. But I just kept stitching it. Okay. So now you have your little. Can you reply to a comment, or you just have to, to write another another comment? You write another comment, and you know I like put their name or yeah. their YouTube handle. So tuck in. Tuck in, tuck around, kind of spread that fiber out. I like to try to not make big seams because it's just easier to have 
nothing to cover. Laura asked if you ever felt the fringe before you fold it over, or you just let it felt when you fold, fold it over. I, you could probably go over it with the punch tool. Um, Prior to this step? Yeah. Like just before this step? Yeah. I love the fringe because it, I feel like it just encompasses everything and, um, yeah. I don't know. You Like you don't. I feel like that way you just don't have seams. Right, because it is um, all fluff. Because the fringe. Now, I have yet another patch of core, so we're going to be adding a little bit of top coat onto that. But it's a good bit of stabbing. So this proverb I really like. It's Chinese. OK. You cannot prevent the birds of sorrow from flying over your head, but you can prevent them from building nests in your hair. This is true. So true. Swat them away. It's a Lord, like I said, up to the fringe. That should be a t-shirt. It's all up it's to all the fringe. It's all up to the fringe. I don't mean to sound like I'm anti-bird and swatting them away, but if there's a bird of sorrow, that's <laughs> about it. There's about a bird of sorrow yeah. that's about to build a nest in my hair. You got to swat that away and find what's good because we all have good that we can Okay, I'm not getting the Steven find. Tyler joke. Why did Steven Tyler stick his hand into a hornet nest? He didn't want to miss a sting. The song. Uh, I would sing, but I'm not Sarah. What? So the, I don't want to miss a thing. Oh, it's, I don't want to miss a thing. There you go. Even if I, I love so Aerosmith. There's like four songs that are exactly the same. Like you could just interchange them. You know, I'm crying. That's their and style. Then, Has someone done like a mashup? It's totally. They're all the same song. It's so funny. <laughs> all right, covering this last little, this last little bit of core that. Ooh, up. Let me get to the fun part. We are. I feel like this was the hard part. If you have accomplished this, you're you're like just as good as done. If you've accomplished this with technical difficulties and 24 chords swarming around you. Yes. Yes. All right. So now it's a little bit of a hot mess. So you have some work to do. Like you've got this seam. This feels a little wimpy, but it's okay because... Do some poking. A lot of this you could kind of just fringe out. You could add more wool if you wanted to cover it. If you find that you do a little stabbing and it pretty much blends into itself, I might add a little piece there. There's one spot right here that I feel like I could stick my thumb through. So I'm going to like spread some of this. Laura asked, are you restacking or actually tearing the fiber on the patches? And I'm not exactly sure which. Oh, when, she's talking about. so when I have it over, um, when I had these core patches oh. that I didn't like seeing, I, I don't You're know if I, I don't know if I'm restacking. I might be tearing it yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, breaking it down a little. I think I'm probably yeah. breaking it down a little to get it to be a little more manageable. Some fiber is easier to do that with. I feel like some is really tough to pull apart. All right, so fold that around. You could kind of stab it. I like using this as my background. Now, if you really wanted more of a burrow, then you could keep stabbing and stabbing and encouraging it into this, you know, deep little cavern. I like a big spot for all the locks and the eggs and all yeah. that. So I spread them you out. So I kind of flatten them and. I found that when in the nest and burrow tutorial, mm -hmm. the batting always made like a burrow. Like, like you couldn't. Just, it, they just turned out deep. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I saw that proverb too. Um, a chattering bird builds no nest. That was a good one. That is a good one. 
I also like, well, this one's French. To every bird, their nest seems fair. And actually, I saw that in a few, maybe it's European, because I saw it in Italian too, it was just slightly different. So to every bird, their nest seems fair. So they're not like wanting for more or admiring the other bird's nest or- Like they just, made their nest, they, they worked nest. hard on it. Yeah. So if you don't have the mini stab it, yes. um, you can, you can use the edge of, you can kind of smush it over yeah. the corner of your stab it. It um, works. A few other people were talking about some rice in a sock. Yeah. Um, or you just keep turning it, um, you know, you stab the bottom and then just like Kylo's doing now, you just keep stabbing into. Yeah. It's, I mean, if you have rice, I would. Fill sock. I would. Yeah. Just, it just gives you the exact shape of what you need and it's um i just don't i don't feel like it is a lot of hard work mm -hmm. um gotta like make your work easier there's a little seam i'm being a little particular here covering the seam and next step for me is i like to find just the right feather placement there is no just the right feather placement, but every nest sort of has, I don't know, a spot that looks like, I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use my second one. Um, <laughs> Someone's husband is making her a sock. <laughs> so quick, a rice sock, quick. Quick, give me a rice sock. If it's a wool sock, it'll get really stuck, so be careful. Yeah. Okay. So I hopefully have some kind of twig here. I think you have a lot of twigs. I now. do. I'm kind of loving this one. I feel like it's gonna like fit in here and wrap around. Hmm wants to be it wants to be one way or the other I just need to figure it out I think it wants to be this way Lee was Lee is good at building she would kind of build her nest onto yes a stick yes which I, I'm requires not requires like a little planning a little more yeah I'm that, not usually patient enough to. so if you don't have this super well felted you can shove it in a little bit any kind of stick or twig. I have in the past needed to, like I've had them really well felted, so I just take a little, um, the snips, and kind of snip a little spot to get them in there. And then, I sort of have this going down rather than up, but that's gonna be good. Where to put my core? I'm gonna take a tiny bit of core These are delicate, but I don't like them so delicate that, you know, one wrong move and your twig's gonna fly out. So I just make like a little patch. You could do it with top coat. I'm gonna do core and top coat. Core just locks it in. Just going over where that stick is. And then a little bit of the top coat. Eventually there will be some locks on here that will also kind of hold, hold it down. But you can Tell it where you want it to stay here with this wool. Laura said a darling needle works well. Trisha said, Laura, what's a darling needle? Darning? She said darning and then darning. I said darn it. Darn it. <laughs> That's what I meant. Look at these feathers. How do you know what feathers? All of them. I know, it's a lot of feathers. So oh. this one like so wants to turn that way. 
but my twig is that way. So, it's so fun. I feel like my nests got pretty predictable. Oh, all my nests look. It's a signature. Like, yeah, I'm going like, to go with it's I'm my signature. A, they a, all a look the same. feathers right here, and then they're always asymmetrical, and they're always... Yeah. Always well, asymmetrical. certain things you do because, you know, that's what looks good. Yeah. This also wants to turn this way, but I'm kind of loving this feather. I'm going a little different. Normally, if I had the twig here, I would put the feather here, and then I'd, like, work my locks in between. Mm. But gonna be different here You're mixing it up. well I'm gonna put this look at that I like sometimes the birds put a little layer of needles or grass or something on the inside of the bottom um, yeah, that's what, what I like about um, the one that Izzy made is it's all like lined you know yeah sometimes I put um, normally the uh, mix or... she's got feathers in there too yeah which is cool my locks usually come out. Yeah, they usually end up sort of as as the bottom there. Cause mm -hmm. then if you take out the take out the eggs, Max, something pretty to look at. Yeah. Max found a nest in the yard and kind of like shooting off of it was this like spray of these twigs that had little like kind of berry pods on them. Oh really? So it's like a real oh, that's work of cool. art. It was really neat. I'm gonna they are go. Little works of art. They are. I'm gonna go with this. These I just tuck in, and then when I add, um, when I add locks, usually it kind of, kind of holds them down. You could use like a little bit of super glue mm -hmm. to get them to hold in. I feel like if it's got a decent little, look at, I want to use this, and it doesn't want to be. Doesn't want to poke in. No. You will go in. All right. I love the peahen, uh, not peahen. Um, oh shoot, the ones with the spots. Guinea? Guinea hen. Yeah, yes. so pretty. The guinea hen feathers are so pretty. Okay, so here is where I am. Even without any locks, we've got the twig and the two feathers. This feather's a little like broken down but I kind of like it like I like that it's all right now for locks what I like to do is I kind of like to go through the locks that I have pick some that are going to be my like spotlight highlight like punch a lock color and then I use like the little teeny tiny locks underneath and then put them on top. So I'm going a little like, oh, these are ridiculous. Are those the bronze? Yes, um, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. So. A fiber bundle is just. Oh, if you. You just keep using it. Yeah, if you haven't gotten a fiber bundle, they're really. I feel like they're worth it. So yeah. much, so much comes in there. All right, that's why it's so long. So pretty yeah, much, some of those are really long. yeah, pretty much these bits spread out is going to give me like the accent that I want. So if you look, I mean, this is the amount of lock of the you know dyed fancy super special lock. So you could probably get out of this bit, which is only a small part of the fiber art bundle five nests at least I would say um oh but this has purple everyone's gonna sit here watching me play with locks <laughs> <laughs> I know get all excited about it's your fun. Colonies. okay and then I had a bag with all kinds of like these teeny where am I teeny tinies and BFL. I love the BFL. Like these are just amazing. So, oh my gosh, so yeah, great. like, and this would do a bunch of nests as well. So I like to do sort of a base of these 
And then when you put the pretty locks on top, I feel like it all just comes together. So at this point, you're just like fuzzing out the bottoms a little bit, finding the pretty tips. Do you kind of fan them all the way around the inside of the nest? I do. Well, I do the top mm -hmm. with these guys. Okay. And then these end up going, like the bottom ends up being the ends of these ah, that I the spread out. Ends. And then, yeah. And um, oh, so I even pretty, go, Kyla. I even like to go kind of around. I don't do the hole outside, but it's really yeah. nice. Um, where am I? It's really nice, like along this edge to get some. So I am just going to do a lot of. So BFL, I'm just gonna. Yes, the blue, lock types. Blue, BFL is blue faced luster. And. Um, BFL, these are probably. They're always this, um, they're known for their just tiny, mm -hmm. tight little curls. They have this. Well, and then if they're lamb. Oh my gosh. Like the crazy. BFL lamb locks. So the moose moss that we make mm -hmm. is always made with BFL. That, and I the fiber art that. bundles will have at least three different kinds of locks in them. We'll try to have uh, a lamb lock. We'll try to have a Wensleydale or Teeswater long lock, um, a fuzzier lock. Um, so your, your fiber art bundles get a variety of locks in them and silk and mohair mm -hmm. and short staple merino roving. <laughs> We're still, thank you, Patty. We're getting compliments about the light and the sound Ooh. and the cameras. And Sarah's been working hard on that with Talbot. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of, um, I don't even know that I've been saying I've been doing a lot. A lot of my work I've been doing from home. So I come in and it's just all set up. <laughs> like, yeah, moose moss is, this I is, use a lot. Yeah, this is kind of, um, Makes me think of the moose moss. Just tight little. You don't even really have to worry about the ends because they kind of tuck in. Yeah. And it gives it such a cool texture. I let a lot of it sort of stick up at first and then you can like place where you want the bits to go if you want them to go over the edge a little or fill in. If I ever stab myself, it's around now. Someone asked if Milo is coming back. <laughs> is Milo coming back? Ever? <laughs> like for what? For a tutorial? For a live felt along. For a live felt along? Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. <laughs> so he, fun. Could, he could heckle you. How's your ventriloquism? <laughs> Not great. <laughs> Using both my hands right now. Yeah. Hi, Pam. Is my mom on there? She was looking for it. I haven't seen her. <gasps> Nancy. I haven't seen your mom. If she's here, she's not. She's all quiet. Commenting. Nancy, where are you? She messaged that she couldn't find it, but I was trying to get hooked up and there was nothing to find yet. So A lot of people are quiet because there's 145 people watching. Okay. But the same 12 people <laughs> are commenting. <laughs> I think are that's commenting. often how it is. You have yeah. a lot of people working along. This stick is a little floppy. Kevin said Milo must be puppy teamed. Oh. I was thinking what made me agree to do this. And oh, I am mom's blaming here. it. Oh, Nancy's mom's here. Oh, good. Hi, mom. <laughs> I was thinking, what? why did I agree to do this? Because I was feeling a little... You're having fun, aren't you? I was... <laughs> yes, I'm having so much. I actually am. It's just, I'm not used to, like, being in front of the camera. So I was like, it's fun. It's easy. <laughs> like, you've been doing it for years. <sighs> I was going to just blame the pandemic. Sure, I'll do it. We're all branching out, so to speak. We're all yes. testing our wings. Look at how you did that. <laughs> you have outgrown the nest. 
You're shoving me out. You're shoving me out of the nest. Go fly. You're going to have so much fun rewatching this. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Seeing all the comments. Have I, like, picked my nose yet by accident? Or? Oh, I know. I know I've done that. Okay, here's another. Yeah, I like this proverb. Birds in their small nest agree. There's no room. There's, there's no room for them to disagree. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. You're not going to your own corner. What do you give a sick bird? I'm thinking. People sing. Am I on? Okay. Um, you give them bird medicine. Tweetment. Tweetment. <laughs> I should have known that. I was going to say oinkment, but that was from the, <laughs> was from pig, the pig tutorial. Oh. Okay, so pretty much have the bulk of the outside covered. So Sue is asking, do, do, do. how would I use the nest? What oh. do we do? We put oh. we put our birds in them. Mice. We put sleepy mice in so them. So sleepy cute. anything. In I them. mean, once you have like, you know, if you do your little eggs and all they're little just eggs on the christmas tree yeah i gave one to a friend that she has a covered porch and like a little tree out on the front yeah. and she left it right out there it doesn't really get the weather it looked really cute out yeah. there um i have a little shelf on the wall in my bathroom mm -hmm. and i have one tucked in there so i'm just kind of stabbing at it as we as i work um like tightens it up a little mm -hmm. bit the more you work. So you don't want it too tight. Now I don't love this feels a little naked to me. So I am going to just pick from my pile. You see my pile? Yeah, just pick from my pile of natural goodness. I've had Locke sitting in my house for a long time, just waiting, waiting for this use. People are saying hi now that I called them out on not commenting. <laughs> called them out on not commenting. Thanks. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's okay. A couple more. So then it's going to be placing the colored locks and making the eggs. Got to make the eggs. Which is super easy on the face ace. The face ace does make it easy. Three is nice. Three, is nice. Three eggs would be nice one. Uh, uh, oh <laughs> I'm gonna make my first egg is gonna go right into your nest, your deficient nest. <laughs> so eggs, I was wondering why eggs were shaped the way they are. Okay. Every egg is, I mean, pretty much every egg is shaped that same way. So it kind of makes you wonder. Like why? Yeah, it has to do with the anatomy, obviously, of the mom. <laughs> And it's, and, and and it's exit. Comes, well, wouldn't it be nice if little babies had pointy heads that made that helpful that made them in coming out of these be helpful. And um, and they they nestle into the nest more closely okay. when they can go like you know skinny to fat side. All right, I can see and stay I can see warmer. That. And they don't roll as quite as easily. I okay. mean, if they roll, they roll in a circle. Okay. So it's uh, it's interesting. So nature as oh, it solves issues left and right, like that you didn't even know. Yeah, was a thing. Okay, now it's a little different. I normally have them set with the twig and the feather, and I kind of know where I like to stick. The longer one so I'm not quite sure here what we're gonna do but just kind of fan out the bottoms of these because it'll make the inside look really pretty so speaking of eggs I'm going to link a book <gasps> another book okay um, it's called the book of eggs life-size Gu guide to the eggs of 600 of the world's bird species okay I put egg 
nest and feather books all in my Amazon cart yesterday. I have not clicked. Purchase. Purchase. So I'm not stabbing anything in yet because I kind of like to see where I'm going before I commit. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm interrupting one more time. Judy also pointed out another um, aspect of the egg shape is the strength. So yes. it won't crush. A yeah. friend of yeah. mine um, is our children's ministry director at church. We've been having church outside and she's doing a kid's lesson and she lined up 12 dozen, so like six sets of eggs okay. and walked across them wow. in their in their carton. Wow. Which, well, when she first tried it, they cracked. <laughs> and she was like, this isn't going to be good. Um, you know, talking about the strength of them. But if they're all lined up in yeah. the same direction, um, they won't the crack. So yeah. like if all the, you know, large parts down and the smaller parts on top, you can walk right across them. So you can't do that with one egg. Right. You need like, like a bed of nails. You need like the <laughs> unity of, yeah. Okay, so cool. Kevin said his sister is a realtor and she makes nests and puts the keys of the new house. Get out. As a gift. <gasps> like a new nest. That's perfect. It's awesome. That is such a good idea. Yeah. I did a lot of driving around the county delivering Delivering nests when everybody was um, stuck inside and yeah, you know, yeah, you made a lot trying and to figure out. It was a lot. It kept me busy. I think it was like a little, a little therapeutic, just a little nest delivery on the front porch. And in a lot of ways, I think it's a really neat gift. Mm -hmm. A lot of the animals are great mm -hmm. too. The sleepy mice are really cute. I think no matter your taste or your decor mm -hmm. or anything, I feel like a nest is, you know, great mm -hmm. in any house. I did warn people that um, dogs like them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, don't put it too low. Right. Yeah, cats. <laughs> or cats, so you need to find a good spot. So I'm just kind of spreading these out, not all over, but kind of tucking some in. And besides oh the eggs. Oh, my gosh, it's so pretty. Right, besides, so well, and it's like not even hard like it's the locks and especially the dyed locks when you get some good ones like it is mm -hmm. it does all the work for you like the inside um just the variation of color marcia does such a good mm -hmm. job with these fiber art bundles also which locks are shiny because the the higher sheen ones wensleydale are... and mohair okay are shiny so I, it must be the Wensleydale in the mm -hmm. fiber art bundles mm -hmm. that um, that like glisten in there adds a yeah, whole nother so pretty like a whole nother element. So I don't tack all of the tops down always. I sort of like them, you know, loose and wild. All right, could fuss with it for a lot longer, but you don't have to. <sighs> Very exciting. Okay. Now, eggs. Eggs. What you have to use for eggs? I have aqua? some. I do. I brought, I don't know if this is aqua that I brought or if this is the one that I made. Blue Moon. I think say. it might be Blue Moon, but I'm not sure. I've used a lot That's of this. Blue is moon. just, yeah. I've used a lot of just gray, chunky core. Yeah. Um, the oats core is awesome it's just kind of a I haven't used any off-white I feel like the off-whites like a little too bright I like it a little bit I don't know yeah these have silk in them I don't know if you want to mess with them or not but um oh with the silk I'm not gonna do yeah. silk because I feel like yeah. it's not gonna felt as easily where's my face ace I want to try one with silk will you pass me my face ace <laughs> Will. Uh, Thank you. Uh huh. Oh, oh, it fell. My bad. So you're gonna go for silk. I'm gonna try it. All right. And can I have go a little for bit it. of your gray core? Yes, I could be graver on camera and do silk, but I'm not gonna. No, I'm gonna do it. I'll pass it to you if it turns out okay. All right. <laughs> so I'm feeling gray in this one, not the blue. 
it's just me. I always go a little, a little, a little milder on my colors. <sighs> Thank enough. you. So if you have regular core, you're gonna wanna split it at least in half. If you have chunky, I would say split it into thirds. Um, what do I have? So I just have to answer a question. Eight inch piece, yes. Maybe like six. Six, six to eight inch piece. Um, really using oh yes so the reverse needle oh. is like so amazing and fun okay. and laura just pointed out that if you use a different color core on the inside okay and then a top coat oh you totally you get the reverse speckles. needle out the Ooh. speckles so well, i'm gonna do that with a dark i'm gonna use carob okay i'm gonna try it i'm gonna use carob and then i'm gonna use a um you know, like an aqua. All right. And I like then... the spots because, or I like the gray and the oats because you kind of get that spot look without even, yes. you know, any of the natural yes. colors, you kind of get that variation. Yeah. Um, and with my eggs, you all are doing two layers. I do one. Do one layer. This is probably going to be a little much. Um, What do you mean two layers? Like I only do one wrap. Uh, I don't necessarily oh, right, do. Right. You don't do it. Yeah. You're just using the color. I just use the core. One, two, three, four. Like somewhere in the five to six, right in the middle, basically. Just hold it and wrap. So about someone... an inch and a half up. I only go out to the point and then the bulk of it I put down at the base because that's the fatter part of your egg. And eight inches was definitely too much. It's gonna be huge. Question? Um, yes, the oats is replacing oatmeal. oatmeal. And Kyla actually just recently worked on um, a file that we're going to Ooh, share yeah. that has all of the replacement, um, kind of the old list and the new list so that you guys can see you know, not every color is the same. Well, that was sort of the point mm -hmm. was to change them. Um, I think the biggest place that there it's going to be complicated is in the kits. But even in the kits, we're working it out. Mm -hmm. um, but the the fiber that's in the supply packs is not going to perfectly match the video. The video, right? For the most part, it is. I think tan's a little different, but we love what's in yeah. place of what was tan. So um, I'm gonna do this again because I don't know that I necessarily explained. Wrapping up, back, and then when I get to the back, I sort of crisscross, also a little too much. Sort of crisscross it. If you pull nice and tight and wrap it around, this one I pulled off and it's just sitting there. It'll hold its shape until you start really shaping it. And then, carefully you don't stab yourself. I hold the base, otherwise it might wanna pull out. So, stab at the front. And then you're really just shaping it. Stab a little bit at the top end can work on that more later. And then the bottom end, you just stab all of this basically into itself. Go at it from all angles. Um, the other thing I like to do when I've gotten both sides stabbed in is to hold it, I guess you can see that, hold it upright. I sort of put pressure on it and smush it down so that it, a lot of the fiber goes to the bottom and it sort of gets that squat little egg shape. So you stab towards it, towards the bottom. This is a little weird. We're gonna stab that back into place. Can I ask you for um, the reverse needle? It's in the marked, that wooden thing. Oh. At, at the very end one, I think. R? Does it have a thing it on it? It has an R. Either one. Either one. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. 
So, um, yes, perfect time for the grab and stab, definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I have a grab and stab at home. How do I not have a grab and stab at home? You can. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, someone's asking when flat. It's a Matt good question. Um, we did get a. Um, oh, that's nice. A lead on that. Uh, we are hoping to get more in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. We're never quite sure what's going to come in. I'm not sure which end of my egg is which now. <laughs> they both look. I gotta. Yeah, you do have to encourage one end to definitely be one wider. But and taper one yeah. end. All gray. This will be for your nest. You know, Yasmin taught me something. What's that? Is Yasmin on today? Um, I haven't seen Yasmin. What did she teach you? <laughs> Someone said babies do have a slightly pointed head. <laughs> yes, they, they do. do. But that's because they've got pushed <laughs> out. <laughs> no, I don't think... I don't know. I don't know that I they're mean, in there I, I with a the pointed head. <laughs> um, she said I was complaining as I do about we were talking about individual scales on dragons. Ah uh, yes. And I was just like, no way. Never. Like, no. like never, ever, never. never. Ever. And and yes, and it's like, don't be afraid of the details. And so I hear her <laughs> sweet little voice in my head now. Don't be afraid of the don't details. Don't be afraid of the details. She's like, we have time and it, I'm well, thinking, well I, I haven't really had a lot of time, but I'm still gonna I'm still gonna try harder. Oh, Yasmin's here. Hey. Don't be afraid of the details. Don't be afraid of the details. I think we all have a little more time. I said okay. Not all of us, but generally I think a lot of us have had to slow down a bit. So flat mat, Tony, is um is a byproduct um, that is a merino pre-felt. I have a weird spot, in case anyone's wondering. Normally I don't add a little top, but... And it's inexpensive, and we use it as the backing for some of our uh, wet felted projects. Um, it's not as fluffy as fill. <laughs> Rose said I'm late, can you start over? <laughs> um, flat mat is... Well, the company that we get it from had to close for a while. Just yeah. everything. COVID really did. Yes, everything was closing. Nobody was ill or anything, but they yeah. just, just like we closed for a couple weeks. Yeah. Um, so everything was pushed back. So then the byproduct excess that we get wasn't being produced, et cetera, et cetera. So we're waiting on it. I think we're there. You can like you know, shove the top, shape it a little bit in your hands, work that with the needles. And uh, my eggs get very firm just cause I smooth them a lot. Yeah, I smooth them a lot and shove them into what I think is the right shape. And I think out of anything, if something's gonna be like, you know, picked up and handled in these, people might pick up the, pick up the little eggs. Yeah. So there is one. So I'm going to show you the um, the reverse yes. needle. It's pretty amazing. Like you can reverse Ooh. needle out just a tiny little dot or a bigger dot. Um, pretty neat. There's your third egg. It's, Yay, a, it's a monster. I'm so lucky. It's a monster in there. But there you go. Well, I'm gonna... And this. What you got over there? This um has a silk in it, and it. It needle felted just fine. Um, maybe a little. You did little core bit. center? I did carob core in the center. Ooh. And then it's kind of an aqua. It's a little different than aqua, I guess. So cute, those spots. Yeah, the spots All right, are cute. fine, I'm sold. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sold. So cute. There you go. Aw, somebody said over 150 are watching. 
but we have 43 thumbs up. Let's give Kyla some oh, more. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I mean, we care, I guess, about the thumbs up. Yeah. We don't really care about the thumbs up. We're just glad you're here. Yes, we are. So we, I was thinking today about what we're doing next. And Sarah has realized big plans. I do? I don't know. I don't have any plans. You have That's a lot of plans. <laughs> I have a lot of well, plans. there's a lot that you want to do. So much that I want to do. But um, We rolled right into summer, which is when I work a whole lot less, but... We're gonna do it. We're gonna do all kinds of things. Um, so what are you thinking? Well, I've been wanting, as a felt along, I've been wanting to do gnomes. I think it would be really fun. Like a gnome, the, 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 like the full size the gnome. full size gnome. They're super fun. It's a great level two to three jump. Mm -hmm. Like a level three jump. Um, and, Oh, more wet felting kits. That would be good. Um, I used um, Carob, Core, and Aqua Bat. Bat, yeah. Um, okay, so, but we had a hold up on the gnomes because of Cotswold, so I have to uh, check with um, Sassy and see if we have the gnomes. But they're, you know, doing the little boots, and the face, it's a great introduction to faces. Right. But it's not like crazy, like mermaid Like face. a mermaid face. Um, and there's so much fun. The little clothes, you know. So I will, um, but that might, that's probably going to be a couple weeks out. Because I need to check with Sassy. And we need Make to give sure. you guys time to get supplies. And, um... So another thing that we're working on is we what, what did you find out about the idea of the of the grouping? The idea of the grouping on the website. It can be done, but we're just still not sure about inventory. We're not one hundred percent sure about inventory. Okay. We know in theory how the inventory is supposed to work. Okay. Theoretically, it's supposed to work that way, okay. like the right way, that it won't totally mess us up. But okay. I feel like I need to call. We need to talk to the I need to call and talk to an actual okay. person instead of just the chat. My face ate my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are the mice? Oh, do you have a sleepy mouse that we could put I in the nest? I have a sleepy mouse. So, um, I'll explain what I was just talking about one second. So what I was just saying to Kyla was one of the things we're looking into is a way to group products together that would automatically populate your cart. So by like maybe a core, a core, a fur, a pelt, a pre-felt, and a silk. So kind of like a bundle. Yeah, that's so cute. Look oh my him. gosh. I don't know. We but what would be cool mine. about that was as we did more felt alongs, we could create oh. that don't have a supply pack. Okay. We could create a bundle on the website. Right. The for the felt go. along. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that wouldn't be, I was gonna say, as much of an inventory issue if it was a special item, but so people are saying forest folk, that would be that would be a fun one to do. Um there is not a nest supply pack. There are a bag of nest lots that give you like a really fun natural um, combination of natural and um, colored. They're all different. Lots. So what you see here is not necessarily what yours would look like, but they are all different because these are locks that aren't like our our best. There, right. there's nothing wrong with them, but they're just you know they're going to get teased out and um but there's a really nice natural colors mm -hmm. and this muted colorway oh. of of dyed colors that's awesome sometimes there's moose moss in them yep um it's always a mix it's mm -hmm. kind of like a lox bits bag except we intentionally gear it towards nests right so yeah. there's um <laughs> trish said i have no problem populating my cart 
Well, but it's even easier because you click one, one thing and it fills in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff in here. Yeah. So there's going to be some colors, more natural. Where did you make your egg on your faces? I, I, I did it around the fifth. Oh, so you go up higher. Four, five. Kind of okay. like between five and six okay. is what I is what I do. I think my eggs are a little big. I should probably should probably step back one. But if you make, I mean, all of it is going to be based on the nest size that you started with. So people are asking for fairies. I don't make fairies. <laughs> I don't make fairies. Sorry. I mean, I can make a person version of a fairy. Like a like a pixie. You made um. So funny. Like I don't do fairies. I mean, I've made characters. Yeah. I don't have like a fairy, like a fairy in my brain that I. So what besides gnomes? Like what's another? So forest folk came up. Fairies, gnomes. Um, forest folk would also be a face. Forest folk would also be a face. Yeah. All right. I'm like, all right. Even if you can't, there's, there's your nest. <laughs> I was like, I'm toast. Oh. Even if you can't bundle, maybe just list the products involved in felt along together. Uh, yeah. So I have like for the for the nest we didn't, but well, even for the nests I thought maybe I did, but for the mermaid I listed all the I mm. listed all the fibers right um, that you could use. But yes, we try to try to give you the the fiber low down. Did you finish egg with fine needle? Um, you pretty much with the core just stab with, with the, the core, the, um, and I'm using a two a two needle. Yeah, two needle pen tool. Yeah, but you definitely could finish the egg oh, yeah. with the fine needle. Well, and I think if you really were looking at pictures and wanting to imitate, um, I mean the eggs alone can be so yeah. pretty with their little spots and. So yeah, you definitely could. Judy said you're a natural. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna lose my job. Hey, no, not so much. <laughs> just, just nests. <laughs> that's what I do. It is helpful that you're here. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it's like helpful when you're here too. Well, and we're talking. <laughs> I feel like you can survive without me, but I don't know about the other direction. <laughs> So next week, maybe we'll take off and then, but I'll try to announce something for two weeks away on Monday. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll think of something we can do next week. We shall see, but we don't have anything. I don't think we have anything on the calendar beyond this. We sort of did plan this. this and yeah. Then we have a sale coming up. We do have a sale newsletter will be up. coming soon with some information. As far as the sale code, that will be arriving like day of, like midnight morning of the sale. I will also link the code. I think for Fiber Fairies, I don't put like on the little banner, but the sale yeah. days, I put whatever code you need to use um, in the shopping cart goes right on the banner, the main page. So the code will be there. Will you share that again? Michelle, yes. I, um, oh, pumpkins would be fun. We'll probably do that a little later, like August. Or, yeah. So I use the reverse needle, just pulled out. You can even just almost do like one or two little tugs. And then with the fine needle, just stab it back in. Yeah. Well, I don't have a fine needle in front of me, but that would be better than the one I'm using as a, a fine needle. Um, you do have to do a little more work smoothing when you use like top coat. Yeah. With silk or something. So usually when we have a felt along, we do make a post with the supplies needed. If you go to Serafina Fiber Art on Facebook and scroll down, you can see some of the old, older posts. There's not too many posts on there. Most of the posts on there are felt along mm -hmm. related. Um, uh, yes, we're having a sale. It's the 23rd and 24th. 23rd and 24th. It's a Thursday, I believe. Thursday Friday. Yeah, and we have um, the remainder of the new 20 colors of core coming out. Yes. So that will be announced in, in conjunction with the newsletter. 
Um, and the newsletter will have a reminder about the sale um, and some other things. Um, it hopefully will have the um, that conversion, that new to old fiber conversion PDF that we were telling you about. That should be linked. I should be able yeah, to yeah. do that right in the newsletter. So, um, so yeah, lots of, you know, this, this big turnover in our fiber lines is um, starting to, <laughs> starting to come to an end. Yes, Although we did just lot. add um, about a dozen silk colors and silk hankies. <laughs> we did. It's so, a lot of pictures. We had Talbot take like all the pictures and yeah. then... We decided to move forward with the new core line and switch the merino, which then we realized affected every skin tone, yeah. every pelt, yeah. uh, every house card of bat. So then Tauba got to retake all of the pictures. So the, Good. the the new silks and hankies, I'm not sure when they'll be, if they'll be in time for the sale. Um, the sale is a flat 20% off. It's a coupon code, unlike the Fiber Fairy, which is an order comment. The sale is a coupon code. So, so you'll see the discount come out of your cart. Yes, if you don't and you put your order through, that we can fix didn't. it, but yeah. it does, it takes extra. It's better so if, you, if you can. Yeah. <laughs> the code will be listed on the top of the site. There's like a little spot where we can customize the text. Um, it'll have the sale code, and that goes into the... Um, we'll show them the silk colors. Sure. That's what... This is what felt alongs are for. It's the fun, the fun <laughs> is me stuff. dishing the... Spilling the beans on the So the stuff. code will go into... There's a coupon code box on the shopping cart page, not the checkout page. And um, you'll put it in, and it'll show your cart with the discount. It'll show everything. I don't know that I've seen the new colors. So the 2D Rooster is still on the list. Um, um, the, uh, someone just asked something else. Um, the 2D rooster still on the list. Oh, and Kevin asked if, if there's more, um, online stuff coming up. Yes. I'm, I have, um, my classes are full currently, the, the zoom, you know, in-person classes are currently full. And I'm going to leave it that way probably for pretty much the rest of the summer because um, Kyla and I want to scale the wall to Rizuku so that anything we do from here on out would go onto the new website, um, which is going to serve us a lot better. Um, so there would be a combination of um, small group uh, courses with me and then also um, Felting University will Felting University will move there so those would be video on demand mm -hmm. um, we don't have the um, we don't have the coupon code yet for the sale it's gonna the the sale is going to be announced via newsletter um, which it'll also get shared to our Facebook page but I suggest going to the website and making sure you're signed up for the newsletter and then the day of you get the you get the coupon code. Mm -hmm. Were you able to show the silks, or did you get them into the? I don't think so. No. So we have cinnamon. That's a tussa. Yeah, we got t some tussa and some mulberry cinnamon. Oh, I love that Cobalt. one. I used that on my dragon. So the tussa is nice. I like the tussa oh. sometimes in the wet felting because it powder fuzzes a little easier. Sweetest little pink. Oh, that's so nice. Ash. So Ooh. Felting University tutorials look, this will take forever. are pretty much, but look, what's going to happen is when we get the new website running, <laughs> everybody's loving it. So pretty. Um, I'm going to focus a little bit more on some advanced projects. So aside from the 2D rooster, um, well, I say this, but things always jump into my head. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do felt alongs. Not so much develop more free tutorials and supply packs right now. 
So, but do felt alongs and concentrate on a few advanced projects because we have not done a felting university in it's, a long it's time. It's been a while. And yeah. I have about um, five felting university and PhD projects that I would like to get onto the new website. And we have a lot of new felters, but we have a lot of people who are wanting more, more, more advanced, advanced projects. Well, as well, we have so. a lot of beginning packs. Yeah. There's only so much room on our shelves down there yes. for supply packs. And um, yeah, grab it's been a long time. Years. Two years, maybe, since the last felting university. It's been yeah. a while. They take a, they take a lot of time. And, um, you know, between now and the end of the year, we're just going to. We got to prioritize where that is. So if you have Felton University digital stuff through Gal through Gumroad, um, we will be phasing that out. We're not going to close it. Totally available still there. Um, all future learning would be on Rizuku. So mm -hmm. um, if it reaches the point that you know you've gotten it on Gumroad and you want everything in one place in Rizuku, I have a plan to help that so you don't have to repurchase it. So. Something I have to figure out. Yeah, but figure we out. are loading that material on there. Um, and new stuff. I was going to say something about something. Um, being out of room. Yeah. <laughs> Patty's like, Turtle University. Turtles. Turtle mm -hmm. is developed on the list. So is Moose. Um, but uh, that's the plan. And that's the direction. Um, more kind of online stuff that we can all do together and uh, um, shoot, I feel like there's something about, uh, I don't remember, I don't remember if it was about the sale. We get a lot of questions about Fiber Fairy. We're still, um, Fiber Fairy takes everyone working. Oh, right. <laughs> so, we're everyone is working but we're not working on top of each other so it's no. just it would be very hard to pull together and it would be hard to ship um the sale, the sale is going to be the sale is going to be a challenge it's going to sure. take you know usually we get everything shipped by the by the following monday um it might take a little mm -hmm. longer than that it's going to be a couple extra days i'm yeah. sure we're all trying to so stay the, stay distant and the, that's the DVDs, we might phase out. We know how important they are to some people, um, but we're looking into possibly using thumb drives. Mm -hmm. um, so that's also a, you know, work in progress, not yes. exactly sure yet. If you have a USB on your device, which most, pretty much every computer does, most computers now don't even have DVDs. It's only the DVD player, well, or a USB linked DVD player. So we know some of you don't have, um, all right, if you don't have the best internet, you're probably not watching this right now. <laughs> but there are a lot of customers yeah. who don't have great internet um, or they use like all their bandwidth for, you know, to download a big tutorial. So we understand that everything can be online um, for everyone, but most people it is. And we're able to deliver a whole lot more online. Yeah. What what else? Um, everyone says they I hope, love I your hope nest. People made a nice nest. Good job, Kyla. I don't even know what I said. I feel closer to my people with the felt alongs. You are both amazing. Good job, Kyla. Thanks. Kyla love your nest. <laughs> um <laughs> so yeah. Somebody said there's plenty going on and I'm okay without without the fiber fairy. We are too. That's <laughs> That's kind of... I mean, we love the fiber we fairy. We love the fiber fairy. Just, things it's have just, definitely shifted. Things have shifted, and I really want to get this other stuff off the ground. And if I keep, like, by, if we keep... Well, there's a lot of reasons that it's that it's yeah. on hold. Um, so, but it's so much uh, is coming through that's new and exciting. Um, so... And I'm, I'm really happy to get the new fiber situation. Mm, we're almost situated. there. We're, we're almost, almost there. there. And we needed to do it. And it's, like I said, there's going to be a little bit of growing pains in what's what's what. But we'll figure it out and um, we knew, know, get used to. Yeah, we knew it was a lot. Yeah. And then 
And it's we were like, so wow, it's a lot. How, I know. I'm just like, well, we're doing this and we're doing like that. a whole new core line. And why don't we go ahead and change all the merino? <laughs> um, it's all for the better. Yeah. The core, the new core. I hopefully a lot of you have gotten some of it, oh tried my gosh. it. It's the new skin tones. I think I'm probably most excited about, about the, the new skin, skin tones. tones, which are because of the new core. Mm-hmm. Um, the skin tones got an update and they needed yeah. it. So. It's so awesome. Good. The new core is just, we just said for so long, the off way chunky core. We love it. Yeah. It's the best. If only we could have it in all the colors we want. And now we do. We have it in all the colors we want. It's so exciting. All right, everybody. All right. It's up to you to end. I don't the even live know. Stream. Yeah, the live stream that has a, <laughs> that has a uh, error. All right. Thanks for joining in. Everybody, um, Laura said this is really great to watch Kyla. Aww. Have wanted to see you do this. For oh, me. good. <laughs> I'll see you from behind the camera next time. Thank you, everyone. Bye. I say bye, but I don't know how to stop it. End stream. Yes. And then you have to go to OBS and Are stop. Are you sure streaming. you want to end your stream? End.